Hello, welcome to Plaid Maker. I'm going to explain to you today how to make a plaid pattern with Plaid Maker. There are two approaches to making a plaid pattern. You can start from scratch or you can alter the pattern of another person. I'm going to first show you how to start one from scratch. Click on Make a Plaid. Here you'll see lots of inputs, checkboxes, and buttons. I'm going to explain to you each one of these starting from left to right. Over on the left here, we have our colors. You'll notice that the first color is already selected for you, and that is white. I'm going to add two more colors, a Kelly green and an orange. Now you will notice as you're picking your colors, you'll see these letters and numbers up here. These are hex codes, and they are representative of what the colors are. Once you have your colors selected, it's time to specify how you would like them laid out. Over here, you have a number input. This is the width in pixels of how wide you would like the pattern to be. You can think of a pixel as a thread. I'm going to specify 12 here so that this really means 12 pixels of white going across. You'll notice as soon as I edited that you will see a preview over here. It doesn't look like much but you will see a 12 pixel square with that's colored white. You can add rows by clicking on the plus sign. So now I'm going to add a green row. Clicking on the color here you will see a list of all the colors that I've added on the left hand side. I'm going to select green and give it a 12 pixel width. Now our plaid over here looks more interesting. I'm going to add one more for orange. You can also stretch out the preview to see what the plaid looks like once it's repeated. Now by default, Plaid Maker will use the same pattern in the X dimension as it does in the Y dimension, thusly making the pattern diagonally symmetric. If you folded this in half diagonally, both sides would be equal. But let's do a different pattern. I'm going to click Edit here, and you'll notice I all of the threads have now been reduced to something basic, white and two pixels. So here, let's say I want to have green on one side and orange on another side. I'm going to put 12 pixels of white here, add another row, select orange, another 12 pixels, but I want to remove the orange on this side. The way you do that is simply clicking the minus sign. So here you can see I have a row of white and green going up and down and a row of white and orange going left and right. You'll also see these checkboxes up here that say mirror. What that does is it will take the pattern that you have, double it, and repeat it going the opposite direction. Essentially what we have here is a row of white, 12 pixels of orange, followed by another 12 pixels of orange, thereby having a chunk that is 24 pixels wide, followed by another row of 12 pixels of white. It's hard to see the advantage of mirroring a pattern with only two chunks, so let me add a few more. I'll add a small row of white and then an even smaller green and one more white. Now you can sort of understand how mirroring is important. I'll unmirror it here and mirror it back again. 
The last thing that you can do is edit the twill. The twill is how the two different sides are woven together. One by one, the default twill gives you a sort of checkered look and feel. If you select two by two, you'll notice this more of a diagonal pattern going across. And that's similar to how a plaid would look in real life, depending on how you wove it. Once you're satisfied with your plaid, you can download it to your computer, or you can save it to the gallery. Give it a name. I'm going to call it Plaid Maker Demo, and save it. Once it's saved, if you like it, you can share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest, or you can view it on the gallery. The last thing I'm going to show you is how you can alter plaids that other people have made. If you click on Browse Plaids, you'll see here a bunch of different patterns that people have made on the site. If you find one you'd like, you can click on it, scroll down to the bottom, click on Edit, and this takes you back to the editor with all of the colors and widths specified. So I'm going to keep the pattern the same here and just change the color back to my favorite green. And there you have it. It's easy to take any pattern and alter it how you would like. And that is all there is to it. Thanks for listening.